Hey all, welcome to my new series on ServiceNow Software Asset Management. SAM enables tracking, evaluation and management of software licenses. It also looks into its compliance and optimization. In this video, I will be focusing on the SAM architecture and all the different components associated with it. On my screen here, you could see four different components that are related to each other. On the top left corner, we have request fulfillment, which deals with all process related to software procurement, allocations, entitlements and contracts. Let's say you need to install Microsoft Visio in your laptop. You'll first need to raise a request for the specific software from your service catalog. The request may have an approval or fulfillment process depending on your customer. If your company has the required license right, the software asset managers could allocate the license to your name and then they could install it on your device. Generally, the software asset management team at your company will be involved in procuring software licenses in bulk from different vendors and they could map this information into software entitlements. A software license or entitlement can have a contract assigned to it depending on the vendor from which it was procured. When you request for Visio, if the entitlements does not exist in the system, the procurement plugin allows you to automatically generate new entitlements for your request and then you could proceed with its deployment. The software content library which is placed here is actually a part of all the component and this is not specific to request fulfillment. ServiceNow maintains the content library and it contains a list of all standard software definitions including its publisher part number, license metrics, downgrade rights, suite information, and so on. The different software models which are generated from your content library can be published to your service catalog and then it could be used for your request fulfillment process. Going back to my instance here, I have activated the SAM Pro plugin which will completely install all the functionalities which are associated with software asset management. Under the software asset application, you could see a module for the software models. Software models can either be created manually or these are created from the content library. So I have opened a software model here. You could see that the software model contains a definition for your software product. So you can see it has the publisher which is Adobe systems product which is Acrobat. You can also see additional details like version and edition of the software and the software model is used for the licensing as well as for the request fulfillment. If I scroll down to the bottom, you could see a tab called as product catalog which defines the associated catalog item for the software model and its description and if I scroll down further, you can see a related link to publish this specific software model into the software catalog. If I come down further, you could see a related list of software entitlement which contains the definition of its software license. So you can see this specific software model has two different entitlements. You can also see the license rights or the purchase rights associated with it. So for the software model of Adobe Systems Acrobat DC standard, it has around 400 purchase rights. Now let's say we have published this to a software catalog. It would be generating a specific catalog item for this software model and your users could use this for raising requests for installation for the specific software model. You could then build over the specific catalog item, add your approval process as well as your fulfillment process into it. Once you have set up the workflow and users start requesting for the specific software installation, if the software model has associated license, then users could directly install it. Let's say the license does not exist for the software model and you are also using the procurement plugin. The procurement plugin would work as a part of your request fulfillment and it would be able to automatically generate software entitlement for your users. So this is kind of an automation process which is enabled by the procurement plugin. We will cover about the procurement process in a separate video. Coming back to the architecture diagram here, at the bottom left component, it deals with discovery. The software installations need to be discovered from your customer infrastructure. 
so we could validate whether the installation is authorized or not which would actually determine the compliance positions there are several sources used for software discovery and the usage of such sources have increased with the introduction of service craft connector we mainly use discovery and sscm as a source where discovery primarily supports data center or server software licensing and sscm is mainly used for workstations the discovered software products may not be in standard naming convention and you could find same products with different naming conventions the service now software content library will normalize these entries into standard software products and all similar installations will be grouped as a software discovery model apart from the software installations the software usage data is also required as an input to optimize software licenses uh, a user who is not using a wisho for last 3 months is actually not making value from the software license and this information can be used to take a decision on whether or not to reallocate his license SCCM is one of the main source for gathering this usage information. Apart from SCCM, the agent client collector has also introduced this feature to collect software usage information in Quebec release. Going back to my instance, the software installation table contains a list of all softwares that were discovered from your customer infrastructure. Here you could see different software attributes like the name, publisher, version. you could also see an attribute called as discovery model which is the normalized model for your specific installation you can also see details like where this software was installed and who it is assigned to let's search for the installations associated with acrobat so if i search for acrobat in the display name you can see the list of all installations which are created or which are discovered for uh, adobe acrobat If you see the discovery model this is the specific unique entry that has been created as a part of normalization if i open this specific discovery model you could see how the normalization process has executed for this so whenever you get installations for the specific software depending on the discovered names for example you can see the discovered publisher name is adobe the discovered product name is adobe system acrobat dc professional and you can also see the discovered version which is mt depending on the discovered name service now would try to compare these names within the service now content library and a standard publisher product version and edition information are derived from the content library when this information is updated this specific discovery model is considered as normalized and any installations which is having a similar discovered publisher name discover product name or discovered version name would be grouped under the specific discovered model so for this discovered model we have around 18 installations the normalization process helps you to standardize the software installation coming from your infrastructure and this also lets you to connect your installations with your entitlement If I open the software model associated with Adobe Acrobat, you could see that this specific model contains the number of rights possessed by your company. If I scroll down to the entitlements, I could see the number of rights possessed is 20. So you have 20 rights for installation. And if I click on the specific related link called as Show Matching Discovery Models, it will show me the list of discovery models or the related installation associated with it. So let's say if this discovery model has a total of 25 installations and the specific software model has 20 rights it means that you require additional 5 rights or you have 5 unlicensed installation in your infrastructure this will determine the compliance position for adobe acrobat coming back to my diagram here the top left component gives you the number of license rights and the bottom left give you the number of installation from your inventory comparing these two components would give you a compliance position and the process is called as software reconciliation the top right component deals with this process and this provides your customer information on compliance position on all your software model their products and publisher if there is a compliance issue then you can either allocate an entitlement to an installation to make it authorized or you can purchase more entitlement 
for the missing ones or you can also take a decision to optimize your licenses by either uninstalling the software or reallocating the software to a different device or user or by deactivating the license the optimization uses software usage data and reclamation rules to process the candidates for removal there is also an orchestration based plugin called as the csd or client software distribution which can be used to automatically install and uninstall a software going back to my instance on the left navigation you could see couple of modules related to reconciliation if you go to run reconciliation this is the feature that allows you to check your compliance you can check for all publisher or you can also check for the selected publisher once the reconciliation executed you can verify your compliance position within the reconciliation result so i have already executed the reconciliation and i have my latest reconciliation result here within the reconciliation result you can see the product results for each product you could see that for each publisher and product the reconciliation would give you the compliance status whether it is compliant or not you can also see additional cost information like drop cost uh, over license amount potential saving you can also get information like the number of license installs unlicensed installs and so on if i open the product result for adobe acrobat you could further get details like different software model result for example we had two different editions of adobe acrobat one was standard the other was professional you could see here that the standard version is compliant because it is having proper rights but the professional version it's not compliant properly it has more unlicensed installs compared with its licensed right since this is unlicensed you could see that there is a true up cost of 28k dollars which the company additionally need to pay to remediate this number of unlicensed installs so this is the information that you get from reconciliation and we would see each of them in a later session additionally there are several advanced reports and dashboard which are provided out of the box to review these results going back to the navigation i can search for my software usage information which comes under the discovery modules so if i click on the software usage this table contains information regarding the software usage by different user and this has been discovered from external sources for example if i open the software usage record you could see the software usage information by the specific user and you can see that for the specific product in design this user has used it 19 times for april month depending on this data collected we can set up rules which can be used to later recover this installation let's say if if we set up a rule like the specific software should be used more than 25 times in april then we would be able to reclaim these installations we have a specific module called as reclamation rules where you could set up similar rules you could either set up rules based on total usage time or you can also set up rules based on the last use date for example the adobe illustrator the specific software should be used at least for 5 hours in last month so if this software is not used for at least 5 hours then the software installation can be reclaimed there is a specific schedule job that process these and whenever the job is processed it creates a record called as reclamation candidates if i go back to my product result here you can see a tab called as removal candidate which contains the list of all reclamation candidates the removal or reclamation candidate can have a specific workflow tag to it depending on workflow you could add the required approvals and fulfillment process you can also automate this with a csd wherein you could automatically uninstall the software This video should give you a brief understanding on SAM. I have tried to cover almost all core processes involved in software asset management. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.